about to drill my holes for my new windows for my Dodger. And thank you so much for everybody who's been giving great advice on Facebook and Instagram for uh, how to best drill holes into Macrolone. Uh, I've been doing some testing yesterday and I decided that what works best for me is to use sharp drill bits instead of dull ones. I found that with the dull ones you need to put too much pressure. And I used um, a lot of different drill bits. Uh, some of them are metric and some of them are imperial. So it's a big, bit of a mix, but it's more or less half a millimeter in between them. I found especially once you reach the bigger ones, like when you go up to four millimeters and then go to 4.8, then you actually do start chipping the material a little bit. But if you go from four to four or five and then four eight or five, then it actually works quite well. And I tried to put no pressure at all onto the drill, like even not the pressure of the drill itself. You just go really, really slow. I didn't put any water because it didn't seem to be heating up too much because I was going really slow. And I bought a little thing for my drill. It's because I don't have a drill press, but at least it ensures that you go in the right angle into the into the material. And you put uh, something like a plywood underneath the hole so when you come out, it doesn't break. Then I'm countersinking them. I'm countersinking them on the one side for the screw, so I, it's quite a big countersink. And then even on the bottom, just to prevent any cracks, any further cracks, I'm gonna countersink them a tiny little bit. since uh, the water intake. Storm is going. Everybody comes out to take pictures, of course. Having fun yet? <laughs> Blowing in the mid 30s. At least it's uh blowing me off the dock and not onto the dock. If this weren't kind of sad, it would be kind of fun. Anyhow. Storm is over, back to my work. I cleaned all the area around the hole and I poked around it a little bit with a drill because you have to make sure that all the corrosion, like all the brittle stuff, is really gone because otherwise you're going to put the splash sun on top of something that's pretty loose. Um, and whilst I was doing that, um, there was actually a little bit more around the area that was not so good. So there's another hole now, but I mean, one or two, who cares? I hope that this corrosion is over now with the lead being gone. And then what I did is uh, I also use like a stainless brush on the grinder, like this guy, to go try to go into the affected bits just to get the last little bit of brittle stuff out and then 
grind it down the area where the splash zone is going to sit. Inside and outside the tank, I cleaned the whole tank. I degreased the tank from the inside. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of acetone. And what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to press the splash zone into the holes first and ferret out a little bit on the outside. By the way, Splash Zone, the company that produces Splash Zone, uh, Petit Paint, not sure how they're pronounced, really good customer service. I wrote them and I had some questions about the diesel, um, like if it was going to be okay to use a diesel with the Splash Zone, and they said yes, no problem, and they got back to, like they forwarded my message to the laboratory and I had an answer, like on Saturday evening they answered me, and on Monday I had the answer to my questions. And they said, yes, you're good to go. You can fix your tank with splash down. Lots of people have done it before. So I'm going to give it a try because I do not feel comfortable with the idea that I had first, you know, I was drilling those holes into the aluminum, this thing. I just couldn't bring myself to drilling that many holes into the tank. So I'm going to give the splash down a try. All right, let's make some gold. <laughs> too, too many holes on Carl to fix. So I put on a second layer of splash zone last night and I'm going to check now if it's all pure and then if it is I'm going to fill the tank with water, do a little test run. Well shall we test if it's holding up? I think we should. So far, everything looks dry. We're definitely above the level right now of the hole. Ready? We're going on a trip. I spent, I spent uh, thirty-eight dollars here last night. I was drinking Corona, so you can figure that out. <laughs> Where are we going, <laughs> Stephanie? We're going to hike a lot. Yay! <laughs> Stuff we don't do usually with live friend. on boats. <laughs> totally. Dave! It's gonna be a blast. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Yay! We're ready. We're psyched. Totally ready. Yesterday we had this massive storm, so we hope it's not gonna happen again when we're up but on the But when it does, we'll turn the camera back on so you can see how much fun we really have. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, except that my water cameras are not waterproof anymore, so maybe not. <laughs> oh my God. But we're on our way to... Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's so old that the case is uh, broken quite a bit. So we're going to a place called Anton, El Valle de Anton, the Valley of Anton. And then we're going to climb some hill, mountain. What's the mountain called? Uh, the Hindi, Sleeping Indian. The Sleeping Indian. Really? Yeah, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know how high it is. We've got to figure that out. Apparently it's two hours going up, but you know how that goes. One hour coming back. We're ready. <laughs>
it's fairly clean actually, which is really nice. There's hardly any trash. I guess they clean the trail regularly. But what my friends don't know yet is that I did bring a collecting bag for the way down, just in case we do find something. <laughs> Happy faces all around. Oh, better than anyone I've had. Yeah. <laughs> Are they really juicy? Yeah, really juicy. And sour? Wanna see? Yeah. <laughs> nice! No, they're not sour, they're sweet and sour. I like them when they're really nice and sour. He's like, hello. Where are you going? I wanna go to the top as well. Can I take me? Goodbye. <laughs> so good to get away from the arena and honestly from Carl for a little bit and just to fill my head with a fresh mountain breeze instead of the diesel fumes and I was so glad I could share this beautiful hike with my friends and I think I've come to a decision what I'm gonna do with Carl and the leaky hull and more about that Next That's week. Week. <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh my God. Come on, get them. These girls are seriously in motion. Come on, Matt, get it. You can do it. Bravo! 